there's anyone watching me on stream and you have an easier way of doing this stuff, please, I want to know, because I think I'm doing it very, very, very hard, without reasons. <laughs> but yeah, this is all I know how to do, so already proud enough. Oh, that was not good. It's already looking uh, reasonable. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is going to be uh, how the sign is hanging up to say that the store is open. Because, yeah, why would you buy a bread somewhere if the place is not open, right? You want to know that it's open. <clears throat> that cover is probably better. Yeah. Trust, you, trust me, this will make sense later when you see how it's going to look. For now, I understand it will uh, <laughs> not make sense to many people because you have no idea what I'm trying to make here. So that's, uh, that's all fine. So let me see, this will go here. In case you're wondering, I'm trying to make it um, in blocks of two, so it's a little more readable later. Um, but yeah, um, it's uh, it's not a science. It's just uh, I find it easier to do it that way because then uh, you can actually tell how many blocks I used. Uh, just a matter of counting. Uh, and yeah, counting is interesting. You know, uh, you have to uh, make sure that you're on the correct track and then you can basically make sure that you're even and uh, don't go out of the line. So this is an easy way to do that. Basically, I want it to end there. And I can pull my line from there and make sure that it fits. But I think the sign can be a little bigger let's see how big I want it to let me do it like that I think that will be a nice size for the sign Okay, I would say. When I say open or just we're open, I'm not sure yet. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, at least this is so far better than it was before. <laughs> I had somebody watching so far, and that's good. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm already happy. I'm not, it doesn't take much to get me happy, right? Uh, simple guy, easy to get happy. Let me see. Um, probably around here somewhere. Oh, that was not the intention. Again, I forget that I have something active that I shouldn't have. I wonder if this is too small. I think this is going to be fine. Oh, that's one too many. There it should be. I think I'm missing. Let's see, I missed one. The thing of counting it, you can easily correct it when you go wrong because I missed just one, one line. <coughs> so I will have to do one here and fix this one to make it neat. That's why I uh, basically do everything in blocks of two, so I can correct myself pretty easily uh, and know where I go too far or not far enough. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an interesting process. So, now let's go one, two, three, four. Looks pretty good, I would say. Might have to move it a little bit to be more centered, but that's about it. I'm pretty happy with this. This is more or less centered. There you go. So, they're open. That's already good. Store is open. And I wonder if I should put glass for a part of it. Maybe the top should be a window. If so, then I will want to have some shininess again in this one. Hmm. Have to decide. I don't know yet. It's 
saw for a while reconnecting in the bottom of my screen and I guess I was not live anymore. Don't know how that goes. Anyway, you guys better know this better than me because streaming is still very, very new for me. But I'm there. I'm trying. I'm learning. Same as with the pixel art. I'm learning. One thing I learned by shame, save in time. Otherwise, you will not be happy. I wasn't, at least, when I didn't. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, that open sign looks pretty cool, pretty neat. Happy about that. So let's make these lines a little longer. Gonna basically be even more than what we see now. Um, so basically this will contain the door and we'll go, I think, till about here, this line somewhere here. And underneath here you will have uh, steps, uh, like one or two. And uh, yeah, then uh, as for details, you will have here a wall underneath, the curved wall underneath this, curved wall underneath that. And then you, I, I'm, I'm thinking of putting a sign here somewhere, um, like you would see sometimes outside of a store. Uh, putting a tree somewhere here that covers part of this. So. It's not completely so clean because it now it's a bit too clean. I don't like it so clean. It needs to have some some changes for that. But yeah, basically that's the idea that I'm having right now. Um, of course, the devil is in the details, so I'm gonna have to work hard on getting this the way I actually want it. And I'm a perfectionist. So when I don't like it, I'm going to keep tweaking until I got what I want. <laughs> and sometimes that's in my own way. <laughs> but hey, it's a game about my daughter. It better be good, right? So um, yeah, let me keep going. Don't have much time. Uh, I have to be quiet because my kids are sleeping one floor down. I'm in the attic right now. <laughs> so if I speak too loud, they will probably wake up. And then I have a problem with my wife. Don't want that. That's a lot of colored lines, isn't it? <laughs> And like this, it doesn't make much sense, but it will look like more like pillars if you zoom out a bit. See, it looks uh, more like wood. Um, might have to change the colors a bit in the end, but that's for something to care about later. I'm not at that time yet, so um, yeah, still a lot to do before we're even getting close to having that part. Might be different later let's see i think this is going to be the window so i'm gonna yeah let's see how big will i want the window bigger than the other one so this is probably going to be 18. okay let me count two four six That's the boundary for the window. And from there, I can have mm, mm. Hmm. starting to doubt one of the colors. This one, for example. Let me try and make it like this. Looks a bit better, I think. And it's going to be also different. So let me 
see if I can get my thoughts into an actual working thing. Because I'm thinking it will look more like a window like this. So, yeah, that looks more like uh, it's part of something. That also means I will have not these lines, but I can basically use this color and then fill this up. Make a line here and fill this up. And I will make some details in the rest of the door, of course, but uh, it's already getting better. I have to do some shadowing, I guess, but uh, it's already pretty okay. <clears throat> ah, that's replying to someone on Twitter in the meantime. bad I'm just plastering my link all over the place to see if I can get more people to watch the stream <laughs> <coughs> shameless self-promotion as they would call that <laughs> trying not to get that red light uh, constantly in my face that looks a little bit weird <clears throat> like a, the shine of, a, of the light in the window. Did I do that wrong? You gotta be kidding me. I did. Well, I thought it was weird because it wasn't ending in a block. These kind of blocks are a good marker to see if you're correct. I think that will be basically until here. Can fill that up. So yeah. Basically that's my shine in the window. And I could basically do a second one right here. I think I will. Makes it look nice if there's a little bit of a shine in the window. Not the entire thing, I didn't say that. So that means I can fill up 
like this, and go for like that, and go for like that, and I took out of that, and this one. So we have a little bit of a shine in the window again, like we know. Hmm. And it's a door handle. A little bit like an old-fashioned old -fashioned door handle, I would, uh, would say that would be nice. So I'm going to try and create one about here. I think I have too many color things. Yeah, I do. already better so it's not so much of a color festival too far um, obviously needs to be there otherwise we have no handle so now we can basically do the same on this side yet what I'm trying to make here but I promise it will come even if I am not good at this it will make sense in a while If you guys hear that, but my neighbors are working and they've been working for a while. It's uh, annoying for me at least. Hope it will not be for you guys. It's starting to look like a door handle, doesn't it? What do you say? Is that something like a, a door handle, an old fashioned door handle that you would push, right? For me, it looks like one at least. Hey, Max, there you go. That's nice to see you. How are you doing? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm streaming as you see. I'm uh, trying to create a bakery. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can, uh, can actually see what it looks like by now. Um, so yeah, I have uh, bread in the windows, I have an open sign, I'm creating the door right now. At first this was way too, way too big. Uh, basically this door would be for five people in a row instead of two or one. Um, this is a complete building look, basically. I'm not happy about the chimney yet, I will have to chip a little bit on that. Um, so, but basically what I did today already was narrow the entire building make it a little bit uh, 
yeah, more fitting of what I have in mind. I had a sketch. I still have a sketch. It's on the other screen. So I'm working on my own sketch to, to make this happen. Uh, you can see the shine in the windows that I uh, created. Try to keep them in line even if the windows go in a curve. Um, I think it's working pretty nicely. I like the door so far. Um, let's see how I go when I get a little further. But so far, uh, yeah, this is this is a huge one. Um, basically, this um, these buildings are in there because my daughter. Um, this game is going to be about my daughter, uh, like I already think I said also to you, um, and uh, because it's um, we live in the Netherlands. I wanted the first level to actually represent the Netherlands. So, and you know, nobody knows the little village that I live in. So I decided to choose Amsterdam that everybody knows. Um, and wanted to recreate a look of old fashioned buildings that you would see in Amsterdam if you walk the streets there. And that's why this bakery is uh, since 1890, as you can tell. Um, yeah, I wanted to have the the front look like an old an old show, store that you you have there uh, with plenty of details um, in her favorite color which is pink and you say where's the pink well the pink is here in the top <laughs> she loves pink uh, she loves purple and when I was working on the on one of the other buildings that I created for this she said but there have to be pink buildings and there have to be purple buildings so I said okay okay is the game is for you after all so then it has to have what you want right so uh, yeah that's how I got this uh, this idea in my head of making this bakery uh, yeah it's an you you're correct this is like an insane amount of pixels that you have to put in this uh, and this is just one of the buildings this is the first level um, I'm going to make this available also for people with disabilities. So people with disabilities will uh, hear Gaia say basically uh, what she sees in the level. She will describe the building. She will describe the bridge because uh, it's going to have an old fashioned drawbridge that opens like this. So that's where you learn how to jump in the game. Uh, my, my daughter will be walking too far ahead of me. So I'm in, in the game, but not in image basically, but in voice. Uh, and I cannot leave my son behind, so she goes too far, crosses the bridge, sees a portal, and steps into the world of Greek mythology, and that's where the game really starts. But because this is personal, I wanted the first level to feel really like the Netherlands and really be recognizable. So that's why I put so much time and effort into making this building. So, yeah. Um, I've been talking to a guy called Victor, uh, who's a blind journalist, who's been giving me some tips on how to make this game accessible for people with disabilities later on. And yeah, that's what, uh, what my aim will be to make the first level a demo that is also playable by people with disabilities, which opens up an entire world uh, of people who can play my game. And if that's going to be accepted or um, found nice. I think I can start a Kickstarter campaign and make me start the Steam page because for now $100 for a Steam page is a pretty steep thing to do for me because yeah I don't know if it's gonna even make any profit. I don't even know if I can, can finish the game so far. I'm doing this all alone so yeah it's a lot of work um, but yeah I'm happy that people are watching now and um, yeah Go ahead and, and lurk. I understand, man. You, you need to do your work also. But um, I'm glad you like it. Door, panels, and tell basically 
here, I guess. It's a lot of block counting, so if you uh, if you see me sometimes think like, why is it? That's because I uh, need to figure out if I'm on the, on the correct line. <laughs> Because everything goes for me in blocks of two, that's easy to calculate, and from there you can make sure that everything is even and uh, will not look weird. It needs to be um, in balance, basically. I'm going to here create some of those old-fashioned wooden door panels with some shadows inside, so that also already tells me that the door is going to be a bit higher than you see now. Uh, actually, a lot higher, but yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to see, because below this is going to be some steps. And then, uh, yeah, should be uh, interesting. <laughs> Thank you for that shout out on uh, on Twitter too, Max. That's very nice. <laughs> just noticed <laughs> yeah yeah it's um, um, the, the people who do this for a living most likely do this with a tablet and draw it very much faster than I do I do it with um, yeah this bad boy big mouse <laughs> so it's uh, <laughs> it's very much harder it's um, you're supposed to probably do this with a with a tablet like a Wacom or something, no? That um, gives you much more control of over uh, over how you do this. Uh, yeah, with a mouse, this is uh, this is quite tough. So let's see how high this will be. Somewhere here. Maybe I'll let it end here. That's a little easier to find. Yeah, that should be okay. No, a little too. That's a little too high. A little too high. I want it too high. This. Maybe, yeah, this is good. Okay, two more pixels. Everything has to be in twos. I guess you got to be a little bit artistic also to uh, to make this kind of pixel art. Because uh, yeah, I'm I'm a perfectionist as well, so then it better be as as I think it should be. If it's not, then I will not stop until it is. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's quite meticulous work. Uh, and I'm not so great at it yet, so I'm still learning how to do this properly. How uh, this looks nice and when it doesn't look nice. Uh, so basically I have to remind myself constantly to look into the preview window. Because <laughs> if I don't look there I have no clue if this is correct. Hey Nora! <laughs> so nice for you to join. It's uh, I, I, I've, uh, well, uh, maybe you knew this already, but um, uh, I've been sick for a long time, um, over seven, eight weeks, terrible cough, and um, I've been given like a ton of different medicine, and none of them work, uh, which now uh, gets me to a point where tomorrow I will have a CT scan, because they saw on a... Um, a long photo that they did uh, a darker spot that they could not identify and since there's cancer in my family and COPD in my family I'm not taking chances um, and basically just wanna want to be sure that this is nothing or it is something so yeah I'm um, yeah I'm gonna have a CT scan I must be um, completely honest I'm more nervous than I thought I would be I don't think it's going to be something bad, but yeah, you know, it can be. Uh, on the other hand, 
I'm also pretty, um, how do you say, um, down to earth. So if it is something, I know then most likely we will be on time. Um, and if I wouldn't do the CT scan, I would never know. I don't think po negative. I'm a, I'm a positive guy, but yeah, of course I'm kind of scared. Um, I'm 46 years old. My mom died when she was 56 years old because of cancer. So yeah, of course nothing is going to happen to me. I'm going to be able to fix this game and have a long life with my daughter who's going to love my game and play it forever. But yeah, I mean, I better be sure about the fact that it's nothing, right? Cannot, uh, cannot take chances. I mean, my little girl needs to have me around for a long, long time. Same for my little boy. Uh, so I'm not planning to go anywhere. So uh, yeah, you better be sure that I'm sticking around. <clears throat> so this is going to be like the bottom of the door panels. So now I know more or less how high the door will be. It's going to be until, well, there's going to be a few lines around this, but more or less around here. It's going to end here. And then I will have the steps towards the bakery house. Um, you come up here. I might have to make my canvas higher or move the entire thing up. But <laughs> that's something for a later concern. Uh, but yeah, it's starting to look like a bakery. Uh, there, there's going to be a chance to see my daughter in the game. Yes, my daughter is the main character of the game. So, um, yeah, you will see her for sure uh, in pixel art, though. Um, and yeah, maybe uh, one of these days, Nora, I can uh, send you a private message with a photo of my daughter. But of course, uh, I don't want my daughter to go on social media. Basically, uh, she's four years old. She uh, should have a choice on when her photo comes. Uh, anywhere uh, so that's why I'm not posting her picture her normal picture anywhere but yeah sure people who, who I know who I follow and I trust uh, sure you can have a look at her that's uh, my, my son actually will also be in the game <laughs> not as much as she is but uh, he's uh, he's gonna be in audio in the, in the game because I figured it uh, would be nice also to have him there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it was funny because I never told my daughter that uh, she would be getting a game about her. And then one day I had to work in the living room. And she saw me working on another building. Not this one, but another one. And she was asking me, Daddy, what, what is that? What, what, am, what, what am I seeing here? I said, that is, a, that is a building that I'm creating for a game. A game? A game? What, what kind of game? A, a game about you. What? So she was super excited. And basically then she started to, uh, to tell me which color she wanted the building to be. She wanted to, to have it pink. And uh, there should be pink in the game. There should be purple in the game. Because those are her favorite colors. And it, it really never occurred to me before to show her what I was doing um, to show her that I'm building a game basically about her. Um, but at that moment I did. And yeah, she was, uh, she was super excited. And yeah, now I'm seeing that I'm doing the wrong color for some parts. So I'm changing that to make it a little bit more authentic. Although I'm not 100% sure that that is correct. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It was better. It feels better. So yeah, I'm um, I'm I'm more and more excited in building this game because uh, even though it's a ton of work, uh, knowing that I'm gonna also work on uh, making it accessible for people with disabilities. I'm going to be opening an entire market for, for my game because they don't have a lot of games that they can actually play. And um, yeah, uh, I talked to a blind journalist about that. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead, it's fine. <laughs> and it's uh, it's fine. I I'm, I gotta keep working. I will not be streaming much much longer because yeah, basically tomorrow is an important day, and also I have to get my sleep. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a nice process. I didn't know if I would like streaming uh, yesterday. It was very weird. I was there all alone, <laughs> just uh, talking to myself, feeling a little awkward. But yeah, um, I kept at it, and look where it's going. It's getting somewhere. Right? This is get, this is starting to look like something. So I'm uh, I'm happy and I'm proud of what I'm doing so far. So yeah, let's see if I can actually make this game happen. I think I can. So. If I think I can, then I will. Mm, so, almost there. Oh, that was a bit too much. Don't exaggerate, Max. So, this is going to be where the steps are going to be. And then if the steps are going to be here, this is where the curved wall is going to be, and here is going to be a wall. And that should look very nice all in all. I'm going to have this one go down also all the way. Have a touch here. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to move this entire thing up a little bit. <laughs> Not too much, just a little. But if I don't, then uh, I will not have enough space here to do the step that I, uh, I thought about. It's always nice when everything lines up the way you thought it would. Just to check here if this is one line. Yep, yeah, that's one line. Good. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Gonna have to stop my stream for now and. Um, Thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope to see you again another day and um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.